Some companies have very benign origins. Nerds come up with an idea while in college, begging some rich investors to throw some cash. After years of more begging and hustling, they become successful. Most companies follow some variation of this path. However, the origins of some of the most famous companies in the world are weirder and more exciting than this. Here are the top 10 most bizarre origins of famous companies. Amazing. Number 10. Vaseline Whenever you find yourself with dry skin, you might reach for Vaseline. But do you know the strange origin of Vaseline? Vaseline was founded by British chemist Robert Chesbrough in 1859. He had been making kerosene from the oil of sperm whales and was eager to learn what other products could be made from petroleum. He was down an oil well when he discovered what was called rod wax, which was a gooey substance. Chesbrough noticed that the workers would use the goo to heal cuts and burns. In 1865, he patented his own process of making petroleum jelly into a usable product. He traveled throughout New York State in a horse and cart, spreading the word about his product that he called a miracle healer. He did this by hurting himself and then applying the Vaseline to his skin. He was kind of a madman. Today, Vaseline is a household branded name for various skincare products and is currently owned by the multinational conglomerate Unilever. Number 9. NASCAR If you're an adrenaline addict, then NASCAR might be the sport for you. NASCAR is a popular sport of adrenaline and ego that owes its origin to Prohibition. NASCAR started during the era of Prohibition when drivers called runners delivered moonshine and used souped up cars to deliver the illegal alcohol so that they wouldn't be caught by federal agents who wanted to nab them. When they outran the agents, the drivers would have racing contests amongst themselves to see who was the fastest. NASCAR became an organized sport when Big Bill spearheaded the formation of the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, or NASCAR, in 1947. On February 15, 1948, the first official NASCAR race was held on the beach in Daytona. Today, NASCAR is a family-owned private company. It oversees over 1,500 races at more than 100 tracks spread throughout 39 U.S. states and Canada. Number 8. Automobili Lamborghini SPA Lamborghini was founded by Ferruccio Lamborghini, who first started out with a tractor-building company called Lamborghini Trattori. He was an avid collector of sports cars, including those sold by Ferrari. He bought a Ferrari 250 but found that its clutch was defective. He decided to meet Enzo Ferrari at the Ferrari factory in Italy to complain. However, he received a dismissive answer from Ferrari, who told him that the problem is not with the car, but rather the driver, and suggested he look after his tractors. He went home and tried to fix his car by dismounting the transmission. He then discovered that it was built with the very same transmission used in his own tractors. He summarized that with his previous knowledge, he could build his own supercars. In 1963, the Lamborghini 350 GTV was presented at the Turin Auto Show as the first of many Lamborghini masterpieces. Lamborghini is today owned by the Volkswagen Group through ODAG. Last year, the manufacturer born out of an argument sold 3,457 cars, the most it has ever sold. Number 7. Toyota Motor Corporation Everybody owns a Toyota car, or at least it seems that way due to its popularity. However, Toyota was not started as automobile maker or anything close to that. Toyota was founded as the Toyota Automatic Loom Works by Sakichi Toyota. Its first product was the Model G Automatic Loom, first sold in 1924. A British company called the Platt Brothers bought the production and sales rights for the loom for a cool 100,000 pounds. Sakichi gave the money from the sales to his son, Kichiro, to develop automotive technology at Toyota. In 1933, an automobile department was established at Toyota. The company's first passenger car, the Model AA, was launched in 1936. In 1937, the automobile division was spun off as the Toyota Motor Company. Toyota Automatic Loom Works is still around today as Toyota Industries, a manufacturer of forklifts, textile machinery, and motor vehicle parts. Last year, Toyota was the fifth largest company in the world by revenue with $255 billion made in 2016. Number 6. The Coca-Cola Company Coca-Cola is one of the world's favorite drinks that has a very addictive taste and a very addictive effect on your body fat. However, the addictive nature of Coca-Cola should not be surprising when you consider the origins of Coke. In 1986, Dr. John Stith Pemberton, 
a pharmacist and the founder of Coca-Cola, started selling a non-alcoholic version of his tonic he called French Wine Coca, the original name of Coca-Cola. When Coca-Cola started, it had enough cocaine in it to make you fly. Back in the day, cocaine was a common ingredient in medical potions, which Coca-Cola was first marketed as. However, public sentiment began to turn against cocaine in the 1890s. Coca-Cola worked to remove cocaine from its soda by switching from fresh coca leaves to spent coca leaves that had no cocaine remaining. At the same time, it started advertising Coke as a refreshing beverage and not a medicine. Today, the Coca-Cola company is far more than a cola company. It owns popular brands like Vitamin Water, Fanta, Bargs, Powerade, and Sprite, and made $42 billion in revenue last year. Number 5. Nintendo Nintendo has successfully marketed itself as a family-friendly video games developer, but its past is not so pristine. Nintendo was founded in 1889 by Fusahiro Yamauchi. Its primary product was a playing card called Hanafuda that was only legalized three years earlier. Hanafuda is a traditional Japanese card game that was gambled with by the Yakuza, organized crime syndicates. When Nintendo first started, it found little success. It only became successful when the Yakuza learned how to use them to gamble. Nintendo have tried many things in its past, but has found its greatest success as a video game company, producing the SNES, Nintendo 64, and especially through its Wii console that has sold 101.7 million units worldwide since 2006. Its newest console, the Nintendo Switch, is the best-selling console in the USA this year. Number 4. Listerine Do you remember when you had to keep Listerine in your mouth for 30 seconds, all for a cleaner mouth? Well, it may come as a surprise that mouths were the farthest thing from the mind of Listerine creators. Listerine was developed in 1879 by Dr. Joseph Lawrence, based on the work of Joseph Lister. Listerine was originally made to dress wounds after surgery through a company called the Lambert Pharmacal Company. After finding little success, its creators decided that Listerine could suddenly be used in the mouth and started marketing it to dentists in 1895. It only became a household name when Jordan's son Gerard joined the company and started promoting Listerine heavily. Listerine is currently owned by the giant pharmaceutical and consumer goods company Johnson & Johnson. Its lines of products have expanded to include toothpaste and floss, and its mouthwashes are as popular as ever. Number 3. Wrigley Wrigley was founded in 1892 by William Wrigley Jr. He started out selling necessities like soap and baking powder. However, he noticed something very bizarre. He would give away sticks of gum as an incentive to purchase his real merchandise. He then noticed that the gum was far more popular than his soap and baking powder. Wrigley Jr. quickly redirected his efforts into developing his own line of gums. The Sweet 16 Orange and Lotta Gum were Wrigley's first gums. They paved the way for a revolution in chewing gum's appeal. The public at large, especially the youth, were on board with these gums. In 2008, Wrigley was bought by Mars Incorporated for $23 billion. Some of its most popular brands are Extra, Eclipse, Skittles, Double Mint, Winter Fresh, and Lifesavers. It sold in more than 180 countries. Number 2. Red Bull GmbH Despite Red Bull's false advertisement of Red Bull Gives You Wings, flying is very important to the history of Red Bull. Red Bull started out as just a local Thai energy drink called Krating Dang in 1976. It was created by Chileo Uvidia as a refreshment to keep sleep away. The Red Bull that you consumed while studying was not developed until 1987 through the vision of Dietrich Mateschitz. He had experienced jet lag after a flight. He decided to use Krating Dang to help his lethargy and found that it cured his sluggishness. He then decided to take the energy drink to the West with the blessing and financial help of Chileo Uvidia. He called the new company Red Bull GmbH. It was with Dietrich's ingenious marketing techniques through sponsorships of many extreme sports events and teams, like their Formula One team, that the product has become so popular in the West. In 2016, six billion cans were sold and 62 billion cans have been sold altogether to date. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Fanta 
Fanta is the most festive carbonated belly enhancer in the world. However, it has rather dark origins. It was created in Nazi Germany during World War II. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Coca-Cola stopped shipping its intimately guarded secret syrup to Germany. Due to this embargo, Max Keith, the head of Coca-Cola Deutschland, was no longer able to produce Coke. With available stocks depleting very quickly, Max wouldn't allow Germany to go without soda. He brought together some random ingredients including leftover byproducts from a local cheese factory, whey, and apple pomace. All these ingredients were brought together by a healthy dose of sugar. This new product was called Fanta, and it quickly became a Nazi Germany favorite due in part to its taste. Ironically, in 1955, the Coca-Cola company then took over the production, sales, and marketing of Fanta. Fanta is now sold in 180 countries, being most popular in Latin America, South America, and Europe. It has come a long way from being a Nazi drink. Which company's origin did you find the most fascinating? Do you know of any other company with bizarre origins that you feel deserves a place on this list? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.